expose all of you who work. You got paid either today or yesterday. It's not even that you got paid. You literally give add us, money to the Master Reno for free. And that too. It's literally free. It's literally free. Yeah, you just add value. No, I, but like I'm being serious. Like y'all, it's free. Like it, there's no. Not even no asking. reason to not be doing yeah. that. Not even asking for money from your wallet. Literally, literally not. just saying. Donations are nice though. Use the infinite money glitch. Use the infinite that money is, glitch. Yeah, there's Master Reno. There's just not, add, the, yeah. add money to it for free at zero cost. It's actually stupid. So, yeah. It's busted, kind of. Oh, you know busted? God damn it, John. Oh, yeah. Look at this. This choice in song is 100% a numbers. This, uh, this Splatoon music? Here. Yeah. Is he excited for Splatoon 3? Well, I, I imagine so. As you say, never pass the Splatoon fan the aux cord. This song is so trash. <laughs> this song is so Bro, trash. <laughs> look, I understand that Splatoon has some bangers. But song. this is not one of them, and a lot of them just sounds like you're gargling mouthwash while singing at the same time. And uh, why? The Splatoon Spender is really funny. Whatever the hell is going on in this song I is love how not we're, it. Chief. We're slandering John, and he literally just three stock jewels as three we were uh, slandering Splatoon. Yeah. Zero, de yeah, zero death. Or, um, zero death. Yeah, oh my yeah, god. Yeah. Three stock or jewels is first stock. <laughs> Stood no yeah, chance. That's incredible. I'm going through it. Nah, it, it, we've been here for a minute. It's okay. I know. I set it up shop at four. And I'm like, all right, and it's currently I nine. Actually, I didn't think I was gonna come here in time for for uh, I guess block two, but thankfully I did. I mean, it, I'm very surprised that nobody else pulled though. It's it's, it's college school. Riptide. Riptide too. Yeah, that's very true. That was a Riptide. So it's okay. We still have a really good turnout, like 50 something people, right? Uh, 60. 60? Yeah, yeah. that's amazing, yeah. And we also had Ling on numbers. Yep. Duels. Bro, Ling got, what, fifth here? That's. Mm hmm. That is insane. That's pretty nuts, yeah. Although, who the hell is Jules? <laughs> Jules. Oh Jules. my god! Jules, who are you? Is that Where just, did a, you come from? just a simple MDVA player, you know? Actually? Are you serious? Yeah. Well, they're, from, they're from around uh, no, that region. No, we can't be getting freed up by MDVA. I, be, I, I believe MDVA. they're from no. a sub-region and MDVA could be wrong. I'm not trying That's to see. MDVA. Thank you, John. <sighs> you said thank you, John. He's, uh, he's defending it. He's defending it from the invaders. No, I love getting invaders because I like to commentate over them. My yeah, favorite, I my like favorite. it when invaders placed seventh. Or because like, they're just the high enough so that I can tag them. <laughs> but like not high enough. But no where higher it's like, than that. Go mm -hmm. away. Yeah. I, I my favorite my favorite arc. Oh, we're going with the Bayo! Yay! I love the Bayo. My my favorite um arc of like invaders was a Swiss arc, where the top three people from Switzerland came like or Switzerland came mm -hmm. like over, and it was really fun. They were really nice. That was sick. That's that sounds like a really good time. They were really they were so sweet. It, I think it was Destiny, Rohan, Doge, and someone else. They were so nice. Now, but either way, we're going with Jules, going in with the Bayo instead. Actually, this is a um, a really weird coincidence because there is another Steve player who also plays Bayonetta. I believe in like Long Island with the tag Reflection. I don't. Oh, I know Reflection. Yeah, Reflection plays a lot of characters. I think. Like they they're able to play a lot of characters. Yeah, it's just really interesting to see these two character combinations are common for some reason. Yeah. It just goes hand in hand. I guess with the combo game, they really like it. And we see that Jules you know, is well versed with the Bayonetta, having a really immaculate combo game on John. Just racking up these numbers to just the 1012, keeping Wait. John in the corner, dancing all around with the kicks, and just taking him off the side right here on town and city. Dog, I know who Jules is. Dude. Just because they chose Bayo, I know who she is. That's so funny. Literally, I'm like a dog. If you change your main, I don't know who you are anymore. Like, huh? Care to share with the class? No, I, I remember them from like other tournaments where I see the Bayo and I've, I've heard other Bayo players, i.e. Jazzy and other people say, oh, Jules is a really good Bayo that we've seen before. But they, I think they used a solo main Bayo and then they got Steve. Then they went over the to the dark few months, side. I think. But I remember. That's so funny. I'm the worst. I have the worst memory ever. But either way, hi Jules. It'd be like seven rounds to remember who you were. Um. <laughs> Yeah, but John has some really good op op um, option coverage on Jules right now. Just kind of calling out wherever she may be, especially with the down smashes. But Jules just always just gets up in John's face, just mashing all these buttons. I think the the the, the pick to bail against uh, We Fit was the smartest choice. Just boom, 
Oh, he can't do anything about it. Yeah, bye. Yeah. Good. J you don't, 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 don't let John come to the stage. But going to Bay over uh, Steve, clearly a better choice. Probably easier just to get combos on We Fit rather than with Steve. Because John Edwards has just a really good D SDI game against characters that he plays often, i.e., Steve. It's, it's just more. It's just about your your fighting. You're like climbing a hill to fight, you know? Yeah. So. At least going in with the Bayo, you get a little more combo game. You can keep we, we fit in your combos for longer, and you can really put a lot of pressure on numbers. Wait, yeah. and I think which time is a humongous factor in that as well. Mm -hmm. Especially with the we fit upy, just having that huge active hitbox, you can kind of just throw out that witch time and just get a free edge guard going. Nice. Love the delay with the with the down B just to make sure, or I'm sorry, the down air, so that we don't have to deal with numbers F tilt. Yeah, because I guess Jules has picked up on John numbers, calling out her landings, especially with these smash attacks, just letting them rip right now. And uh, she is not having any part of it. John crouching real low, trying to avoid a back air, but mm -hmm. back air will inevitably find you. This is huge. I love this. Oh yeah, I love that pose. See, now that we have Bayo, you can actually put Bayo instead of Steve in the top eight. That's true. Uh, you can fake out everybody. <laughs> well, <laughs> so okay. I'm just kidding, of course. No, so usually how I do it, it's the character that got you to the highest place, right? Yeah. So if Jules were to win this with Bayo and then lose to Jen, technically she placed highest. As with. Bayonetta. Ah. So it would end up being Banna, but I think I would just do Steve just because it was just like 99.999% yeah. of the I, tournament. I, I, I think it's funny but, when like you yeah. do the opposite where like yeah, they play like 99% of the tournament with like one character and then you like chose a secondary they played for grand and won for it. I think it's the funniest thing in the world. Oh my god. That heal stop just kind of just stopped. Oh! What is happening? I just, I just blink. I, I I go to talk and John Numbers is just quickly just doing in work. Just like, no, Numbers plays like a deranged madman. This is deranged. Oh, you're you're. I don't what think is this you're battle? Back. Yeah, no, you saved him again. You saved Numbers. But I think I don't think Jules had any option. I think her own recovery option was kind of blocked by Numbers anyway. Yeah. But you're 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 coming back. Yeah. And she was forced to kind of just burn the afterburner kicks to yeah. just come on back. And now John is getting just a complete reversal right now at the ledge. Sun Salutation almost taking it, and I like the idea for the up smash call out, but it's not quite reaching John right now. Bop. Man, John is just a, a wild beast. Yo, I never know what he's gonna do. Yo, John's trying to pay rent at the end of the month. I respect it. John wants it so bad. Yeah, but Jules mm -hmm. with a very swift back air. So <gasps> I can't speak, John. Please. Numbers is, numbers please is laughing. Easy on me. He's apologizing. Be I'm sorry. Easy on me. No, I please, please. I need, I need to see that. It like. God damn. Two, I, three I need, spikes. I need, what? I need to see that shit in real time. I'm sorry. I don't usually curse like that. I, I, I'm, I'm just flabbergasted. Hey, can someone pull up the? Can someone pull up the clip where I said don't go under under numbers while he's trying to recover? Like, can someone pull that up? I said that like two hours ago. <laughs> oh, that Numbers is happy. Numbers is like, yo, that's crazy. Couldn't I, be me though. I definitely feel it like from the first time that I watched him fight Kreninja, let's make big moves. He went for like double down air. He's like, who does that? Who, who goes for double who down air that? against a Weep it, with Weep it? It's people who are deranged John, and Numbers John was is going one of for them. Those, John was going for those Nick Bros combos before Nick Bros even came out. Oh bro, oh, man. Numbers is deranged. I can't. That's so funny. I feel so bad. Like, Jules couldn't even play the game. Like, the, the third stop. The third stop. Oh! Min Min? Min Min. Okay. No, I love watching Min Min's. This was a really good skin for her, so. Hi, Min Min. I honestly don't know how this is going to work out because I know no, both of these characters kind of like to play a keep out game. I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Min Min does like really well in this matchup. Yeah, and on the stage too. Yeah, because it's just like, oh, you want to stay on the ledge? Well, but, I have the yeah, you I have, have the, the ram ram, that you have the dragon just, arm, just goes all over that ledge. 
So John kind of just can't plank for free. But he, you know, he can crouch under the arms, it seems. It still requires a lot of patience because, like, if you're only hitting with Ram Ram, like, it's not going to be a lot of damage. Yeah. So you definitely need the discipline to be like, yeah, I'm just going to hit him with the, with the little French tickler for the next, like, four hours. You know, just a little... Mm -hmm. John definitely have to plan his uh, approaches very carefully. Not quite getting that spike hitbox with the down air, but still setting Jules off. But Jules with the min min just able to cover so much space in such a fast time with those arms, especially with the laser. I, it's just that the thing with Mimin, she, she, she can stand in the center stage and hit pretty much wherever she wants. Especially on FD where you have nowhere to run. You have nowhere to like really get away from all of her arms at once. And thankfully Numbers is kind of going really well at avoiding all of this. Oh, nice. Oh, like, I love the jab stagger. Fast. Yeah. I don't know about this song playing over this particular matchup. I pretend matchup. I did not hear. Oh, look, man, that's the back kill of F2 the I keep telling you about. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know if open your heart is what needs to be playing here right now. Jules is trying to open their heart right now. Yeah. Just trying to get another game off of John just to bring it to a game that's five. It. That's what we were talking about earlier, weren't we? We were talking about numbers being on ledge and then Jules eventually yeah, can't do the it for free. For it. Yeah, can't do it for two. They can't re-grab the ledge at the very least. Yep, and uh, ball snipe, I guess. Ball, you have to throw it and just hit Min Min before she's able to throw out her arms so you can just safely recover on back. So I guess that's John's plan of attack right now. But that was a really good roll to the grab to just kind of chuck Jules in the corner right now. And she is forced to deal with John just kind of being oppressive with this pressure right now, just holding this space. You can hold so much airspace off the... I'll just say it's with we fit the very least against someone like Min Min because her recovery option is very, very bad and very limited. She yeah, it's, have, it's like budget Byler. Yeah. That Byler is somehow better. Yep. Nice. Yeah, we fit back throw kill right there. John is buffed up with the Kaioken. Once he gets in there, he's able to do that big boy damage. The Sun Salutation not quite uh, clipping through the stage to hit Jules, but Jules mm. retaliating with a very sma a very fast up smash. I would love to see, I know it's going to be rare, but I would love to see Jules actually use the Reflector on the up smash against the Sun Salutation. It'd be really fun to see. Oh, this is where Numbers is going to be really, really trapped. Yeah, yeah this is where you struggle. Chain no. Yeah, there we go. So using Soccer Ball to kind of... Uh, interrupt the, the flow that Jules had on Numbers' cons consistent recovery option. Yeah, because the Ram Ram was forcing John to just go high. Yep. And then when John knew, oh, she's finally going to go for um, the Dragon Lasers to finish me off, get the ball, just snipe it out before it comes on out. And so he can just get free reign of the stage again. Still just trying to cover it. That Ooh. jab, getting the, the back, but covering that roll. Yes. Hello? I told you. I told you I was waiting for Jules to use that reflector because they, they had it. Yo, she had that on the ready. Do it again. Oh my god. See? See? She has it on the ready. She is smart. She knows how her character works. It doesn't matter if she plays Steve for the entire tournament, she plays Bayo for one match. Are oh, you dead? Yeah, she, she makes everything work. She has work. the down... No, oh, that was smart. Oh, the awareness. Did people forget that Mimin has the up smash reflector? And to time it as well. Yeah, that is very good. But John kind of just ducked through it every time, just going on low and F tilt, just covering that neutral get up because it do be staying out for a long time. Yeah, the numbers were sweating. You see his hair is all ruffled yeah, up because his like, hair was like, oh, it's, like, oh shit. it's finally, it's over. No Steve, no Bale. No Steve, no, no, no Bale. Yeah, he had three different matchups in one game. I, I Those are very say, stressful matchups. I, 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 I mean, numbers, stress. Numbers stronger than me, bro. Because if I, if I saw I had Steve, I'd be like, all right, I'm chilling. I have Hero. I got balance. I'm, I'm chilling. I beat them. And they go Bayo. We win these. We Heroes win these. And then I'm like, all right, I somehow win. And then they go Min Min. Oh, man. You, you can take the next two games, bro. You got it. So we are getting the run back in question. We are getting Jack.